Scott Thomas here with Stewardship Matters. It was 2004, my boys came home from preschool. They were telling me how they had planted some seeds in a little kind of tiny cup. A little plant emerged and they were not impressed. It bothered me. For some reason, the miracle of life didn't excite them with the sense and wonder of what's possible. So I decided I would go purchase some mammoth sunflower seeds and a tray and some topsoil for sowing. So with the boys' help, we planted 36 seeds. Only 33 of them germinated. And three of them didn't quite look like they should look. So we learned some lessons here, that not everything is productive and not everything, not all the results are what we expected. So about 10 days later, we transplanted these 30 plants into the ground. Within three months, we had six to 12 foot plants. Finally, my boys were excited. The neighborhood was excited. People were stopping. The story was beautiful. We harvested 72,000 seeds just from what was left over of these 30 mammoth sunflowers. And I asked my boys to imagine what would be the math on this? What if we could do this 12 months out of the year? If we could take those 72,000 seeds and replant those and do it two more times? A calculation, 28 billion, 800 million seeds in one year. Think about it. A $1 bur burpee seeds turns into $1 billion of retail value of seeds in one year. So that can get you excited. Maybe you've tried something and it's failed. Maybe you're even questioning even trying again. I get encouraged when I look at the picture of my kids and, and see those sunflowers. Or when I look out the window at my office and I see this big oak tree and all these acorns falling down. And one little acorn grew that big gigantic tree. And now it's dropping thousands of acorns and squirrels are hurrying around. So in the business world, Maybe we could look at goods and services, bringing them to the marketplace, selling them for a profit. Maybe in the art world, it's a, it's a canvas and some, some uh, paints, and it's worth hundreds or thousands of dollars. So maybe you're thinking about uh, starting a new business. And think about what's possible. Lessons from the garden, the abundance of hard work, sharing with others, time, talents, treasures is a wonderful thing. So next time you see an oak tree or you see a sunflower, hopefully you'll remember this story. If you'd like to reach out to me, scott at stewardshipmatters.net. That's scott at stewardshipmatters.net.